Prabhupada, you know, gave the example, the sacred texts are like the law books, right? So when he said that to us, we thought, wow, we got the law books. We know, you know, we got it here. It's written in stone. Here's the law book. We can just say, it says this in the Bhagavatam and that, you know, but when we found out everybody doesn't accept that, you know, we can convince some people of that, you know, idea as much as we understood the idea and so forth. But when you play that metaphor that Prabhupada gave out further, what do you find? You find, well, let's look at it, law books. So there are law books, I said this before, of course, the law books are there and then they're constantly being written also and the laws are being interpreted according to new new circumstances. So, you know, it says, the law book says you shouldn't kill. Okay, we got it. Killing is bad. And then someone says, well, wait a minute, I was attacked last night by this guy and so I shot him, you know? Well, okay, I'm gonna think about that, you know? That, that, so then the law has to be nuanced and, you know, and, 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 and explained and what its real intent is and so forth. And so you, it's an ongoing affair of determining the law, determining the truth and so forth in relation to ignorance and how it shows itself and so forth. So it's alive constantly. So suddenly the, the idea, the metaphor that gave us some security when I was young and so forth as a member of Providence Mission, yeah, we got that truth, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, you know, it's like, I just got, you know, it's all there in the Bhagavatam, you know, and it is all there, you know? But then, you see how the, mo the, the metaphor, it's the same metaphor, but you, you play it out and suddenly that which is set in stone becomes like, whoa, you know, it's like, it's not so what re set in, st in stone, you know, and, and uh, but that's good and spiritual life is, is not, it's not black and white, it's, it's gray and whoa, and I got to think, you know. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got to think, and I've got to, th you know, think spiritually and so forth, and and so, <laughs> you know, there's a place for shutting down the disciples' mind and saying, "Don't think," you know, and then there's a place for start to think now, hmm? and then find all the things that I put inside you. Let's think about them, you know. You're on your own, you know. You got to fly now, you know, something like that, and this is parampara, and this is how it goes.